do so. Yeah, thank you for coming. It is my pleasure. I have not spoken to you in many times from now. No. Yeah. I don't believe I ever spoke to you. One moment, please. <clears throat> I cannot speak for a long distance of time, but I will be able to answer your questions, I hope, thoroughly. Thank you. That's what we need. Continue, then. I but see that you are Octorian Rabbi. <laughs> yes. Um, Caroline. Hey. Yes, I'm... Henry Brunt, you do not look like a Henry. <laughs> That's my son. It's on my son's computer. Ah, you are Caroline. I am. Ayan, yes. Yeah. I know yeah. these names, yes. Very and good. And Sabrina. And Sabrina, Octorian Rubby. <laughs> okay, Caroline, would you like to start? Of course. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we wanted to find out um, a bit more about the um, this contract that was made with um, our governments. Yes. And between yourselves and our governments. It has many parts. Which part are you interested in? To do all the parts would take much time. Um. I know that you were interested in the things that maintained mostly to human colony. Yeah. Which parts of that would you like to know? Um, well, we would like to know basically the, the, the important points in the contract that refers to um, what, what each party gains from the contract. First of all, the contract was made because your governments are uncomfortable with us. They are fearful that we will take over. They are fearful that we are not honest. They do not know us. They do not know our intentions, even though we have stated them, because their intentions are not always straightforward. So therefore, they detect or want to detect that our Ventures are not always straightforward as well. Your guard governments are corrupt in some areas, but not in all areas. But the contract was made for their safety and ours because they threatened us with destruction if we would do things that they would not allow. Now, Having said that, we spoke to them about what was allowed, and therefore we could not agree. So therefore a contract, a treaty as such, had to be drawn so that we could get along and help you. All as we asked is that we help, and they would not let us help without a contract, because they did not trust that everything that we did would be to their benefit. You see, there is no real benefit for us, except not to be destroyed. The contract was made because they had the capability given to them by the insectoids and reptilians to shoot down, as they call it, fourth dimensional objects which we are. So, to save ourselves, we decided that we would make this contract with them so that they would not have aggressive actions toward us. So, one of the things in the contract was that we do not abduct anymore. My species, the Yu Yell, were the ones responsible for much of the abductions because we were interested in human physiology and psychology. But we agreed to stop 
doing that. Abductions were interesting because most of the time we would come to the planet and pick up individuals there instead of having them beamed aboard because our technology was not constructed for moving them in that way. It would cause harm to psyche and physiology. So we therefore did not transport humans. We picked them up quickly because most of them were in open areas. Now, there are many points to the contract at this point because they have changed their minds about us many times. Some things that were allowed are no longer allowed. Some things that we had agreed upon, they no longer want to agree with. Some things that were once good interactions between the government and ourselves are considered now questionable. Although we have never done anything to cause any harm. We have agreed not to attack your planet. We have agreed not to interfere with society. We have agreed not to interact with individuals on your planet at any time. We have agreed to not give you information that should not be given to you that would harm your governments. We have been instructed that only certain subjects about certain governments were allowed to be revealed. We are not allowed to reveal anything about the major governments that they consider top secret or secretive. If things are well known, we can discuss them. If they are not well known, it is questionable whether we can discuss them because they would see it as an act of disloyalty to the treaty. Now, they have stopped us from doing transporting from the Earth to the ship because they say that is interacting with you on the planet. We disagree. We do not believe that a transport of a human to the ship would be a breach of the contract. However, it is a gray area because they say that you are taking a human from the earth and placing it outside of the earth. Therefore, we are interfering with contact on the earth. But we do not see it that way. We are interacting with you on the ship and not on the planet. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Have I made these points clear so far? Yes. Is there questions at this point? Yes. Um, go ahead, Haya. Uh, so, but many other races, positive and negative, do abduct. They have not been allowed to abduct. There are still some abductions being done, but if they are caught, the galactic... Council, Federation, whatever you may name it, has harsh penalties for these abductions. You do not hear much about abductions these days because they are rare. They are not permitted. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's right. But there is a positive, um, you know, they take up, they pick up people in a positive yes. way. Still. They are not permitted. You yeah. see, Grook Fignir, as, a, as an alliance, has made this agreement with your governments. Other alliances have not made such agreement, agreements with your governments, and the governments will retaliate if they catch them. Um, I, just, I just find it interesting that 
why do they care now whether we go or not? Yeah. It is a very sensitive time in your history, and they know this. It is getting time for your world to economy to collapse. They are on the verge of self-destruction, and they do not want any help from the outside because they fear that we will hasten their self-destruction. They are trying to they are trying to pull themselves away from this precipice, but they cannot. Right. It is a delicate time in history. If this were 50 years ago, there would be no such agreements because they wouldn't care. But they, they do at this point believe that a takeover is very easy for any alien species. <clears throat> All right. I, I, even though I don't agree with them, I can, I can see their point of view. Um, but by the same token, to me, it seems, you know, that it's, that's infringing upon us because we are making a different decision than they are. And I understand that they are technically our government, but that's, um, why we are having difficulties with it because they have never looked out for our interests. That is yeah. correct. And I don't think they're about to begin now. That is correct. They influence you in many ways outside of out, off world politics. You are under their influence in many ways every day. We are not to influence you or change the way that you believe or feel. And you do have a right to come if you would like. But we are in a position where we cannot risk your lives. If they say that they will do a retaliation, you would be on the ship when they attacked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, go ahead, Caroline. Was the contract made as an alliance or just your girls? No, it was with the Grok Fikneer Alliance. Oh, okay. Because we asked them if we could help. At first, there was no problem. But then there was many that were suspicious of our help and actually thought that we were changing the weather to make it more detrimental for you, which is not true. Even though in every major storm or seismic or volcanic event in every large event there was a sighting that was us helping not hurting we were not causing the incidents we were trying to save lives and we have done so in many ways have you noticed that during many of these horrific events that only a few lives have been lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually saw a propaganda last night about them saying the coincidence that there was always a ship around. So they were trying to imply that it was caused by, not uh, that they yes. were helping. Yeah. However, in past storms many years ago, if a tornado would rip through a town, as you would say, it would kill many people. Now, only few incidents of death occur. Have you noticed this? Yeah. We are saving lives, not killing lives. Um, you're also helping with the Axis, aren't you? Is that right? The Axis is being held in place by us and other species that are helping to hold it in place. Some claim to be neutral because they do not interact with your society, but they do not want to see your society destroyed. 
so they will help us in giving us energy to keep the axis in place. This is not actually neutral, but their interaction with the world as you know it is otherwise non-existent. Um, um, the, the contract, was it, what government was it made? Was it made by, with every, it was, every government in the, in the world or certain, or does it only apply to certain countries? Only applies to certain countries. Some are uninterested. Okay. The smaller, the smaller countries do not care. The ones with power are the ones that are in the contract with us. United States, Russia, China, Japan, France, Germany. How about the UK? Brazil. There are many. Israel. Sweden. I can name five or six more. Sweden. Sweden does not care. But what, what, how about the UK? Yes, the United Kingdom is involved. Oh, it's a shame. What about uh, besides Brazil and South America? Argentina and Colombia. Mm. Yeah. Middle East. How about many in the Middle East are not concerned, but Israel, Jordan, Egypt, Syria. Syria is not involved. Iran? Iran is not involved. China? China yes, is involved, is. yes. Yeah, the big one. So if we were to go to one of the countries that don't care, could we go? It is possible to go if because they would not know that you are going. However, they do intercept all transmissions from our ship. That is part of the treaty. Mm. Okay. So we're to assume that they're also listening to our conversation. This is true. But they are not always interested in what we have to say. But this transmission may be important to them. Important to us, isn't it? Yes. I can speak freely about the treaty because they want you to know about it. Yeah, and we want to find some holes in it as well. They will <laughs> not let you find any holes at this time because if they find them, they will amend them. Mm. But that would but have to be an agreement to both parties, though, wouldn't it? If let me them. tell you what is happening now because it is a very important step for us. We are considering breaking the agreement. The reason why we, are, we would leave your space. Because we cannot put up with some of the things that they are imposing on us. It is getting worse every month of your time. So can you give us an example of the recent changes they have wanting to do well one was the transporting of people from the earth to the ship how can we impact your progress in the ascension in this way if we cannot actually have you remember the incidents mm -hmm. actually train you in a third dimensional way this becomes counterproductive for us yes. we also see that they have many different weapons focused on us and this is a threat to us 24 hours as your day goes because even if one is accidentally fired it would cause many to die mm. we are feeling a greater strain with especially the russian government and the United States governments to push 
us away because there is a thought that we could be preparing people to attack their own governments. But we do not do that, and they know that is true. But they do not know what we do on the colonies when they cannot see us. They are suspicious. Yeah. They believe that we are brainwashing you, but we are not. No. Well, obviously. Go ahead, Caroline. Now, so I personally don't believe that, you know, they're, they're completely, um, it's all about them, isn't it? If yes. we leave your planet, your weather will be worse. Yes. Yeah. The yeah, volcanic options will be worse, and especially the earthquakes are will reach maximum disaster levels. Okay, so in case they're listening to us, I have this message to say to them. Um, by having Gertrude Nier leave, you don't just harm us, you harm your families and your children and everybody with you. So I don't see the benefit of you holding on to a government that obviously is not working. You can no longer sustain it because it's too top heavy. So I, correct. I think you need to reconsider why you're choosing to do what you're doing. Because in the end, you will not benefit um, because you can no longer, it can no longer be sustained um, by having help. Um, your children will survive and they would see a different world. It might not be what you desire, but it will be something better for them. Yeah, and I, and I also want to add um, that if, um, you should trust at least somebody, some alliance or somebody like that. Um, and I think that, that near, you know, they've been good to us. They mean, they've been very good to us. And, um, you know, the saying is the better the devil you know than the devil you don't. And there are other alien species coming to this planet all the time. So, exactly. you know, this is another one of their fears. So, yeah, there are too many species around. They do not yeah. trust that. They would rather break ties with everyone and defend themselves. They they have the alliance of some insectoids and reptilians and some other species that are not actually in good terms with them, but they trust them more than us because they're more like them, barbaric in some ways. I understand what you are saying, but, how but the more aliens that come, the more restrictions we have. But how can they trust the those races that they work with? Because they've given them technology. Right. They've given them the ability to blow us out of the sky, fourth dimensional objects. They've given them the ability to learn transporting on their own. So they could transport to us if they would like. They have been given other kinds of medications and things of that nature that can heal a multitude of things on your planet, but they will not release them, of course. Yeah. But they will use them for their own personal use. So, so it's Gertfried near considering leaving? We do not want to. The next meeting of our council for the treaty talks will be on February 28th. And, and that's one of the things that will be discussed? That is one of the things that we will discuss with them because I will be the representative along with Pentim and Yusel. The three of us will be on Earth that day to be in the council of your different countries. So you actually come down here for for the council. There is no there is no other way. Yeah. 
it's, 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 we obviously need the help. Um, there's a close storm coming through and yes. I, I can see it and, and I don't see how they are ever be capable of controlling any of these things that are happening with the weather. So Boston should have received 127 inches of snow. It only received 80. Yeah. The cold, we are not we are not prepared to do anything with this cold weather. We we it will not kill many, so we cannot touch it <coughs> at this point. The extreme cold will just come through and leave. If it had snow, we would help with that, but we cannot help with extreme cold. Mm. We can only possibly make it worse, and we do not want to do that. We are letting that one go by on its own. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. Yeah. If it were something more dangerous than just cold, we would interfere. But at this point, we do not see a po the point in interfering with just extreme cold. Unless it would not matter if we did, because if the furnace is going to go out in some place, it would go out whether we controlled it 15 degrees or not. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Um, in terms of, is there, it, did, did they ask for anything specific to say if, if you give us this, we will we will see you as being trustworthy. Did they did they ask for anything of that sort? Yes, they asked for technology for different things, but were denied okay. because they cannot handle it properly. Yeah, it would destroy your planet in no time at all. Yeah, no, not a good no. idea. Because it because I mean the contracts like um the contract to me anyway it's just like doing a deal with the devil, you know, they are. Right. We feel it is a deal with negative energies, yes, but a necessary evil at this point okay. because to save human lives and to help ascension, we feel we must be involved. However, if things continue in this path, we will be forced to pull away. Yeah, because I, I, think, I think one thing that... that that needs to be, they, they need to realize that um, anybody that's going to work for near to begin with, um, we, we are not easily um, swayed into propaganda. So it wasn't like you are changing us. We, we were never part of the group to begin with. I so, understand. Yeah, so we we are we think on our own, we like to think on our own, we like to make our own decisions. And that maybe, is because you are enlightened. You have the knowledge that we exist and you believe that we are not harmful, which we are not. Well we can be, but we are not. Our only Our only thoughts are to bring your ascension to a greater and more quick, a quicker end. Yeah. Is there some, have, do all of you have the same agenda? Or is it some of you that has, you know, subcategories maybe of, of your group? That, uh, a subcategory, what would you be exampling of that? Like a small portion of you maybe, uh, maybe are more put scientifically 
interesting. Yes, that is true. There is a portion that gives no care for the human population as a whole. Yeah. But are interested in the science and interested in the things that they can learn from humanity. However, let me give you an example of changes that have been made on the ship. Take Turkur for an example. Mm. When, when first contacting Max through Jim, Takur did not speak. Takur did not speak for six months. But everyone was aware that she was here. The reason she did not speak was because she did not care about humanity at that time. She saw the big picture as destructive, hateful, warlike, hurting one another and not worthy of help. She was one of the people that did not want to help you at first. Then the telepaths came from your planet and she learned much about each individual that came and she learned that humans were worth saving. She learned that humans did have feelings that were deep and yes. loving and heartfelt. And then, and only then, did she start speaking to humanity. But from the very first day that I spoke to Max first, she was behind me and I told Max who was on the ship in the bridge with me but she did not speak to anyone for six months mm. and we love to her very much and you know she's she now yes yes and it's not like we think anything other that than that she is have good intentions but before she thought that about us what were her thinking about us um what were her reason for being around the planet? Was it scientifically or...? Yes, she was part of the program to help the weather. And also she was what you would call an executive secretary. She was an inputting all the information that was gathered in all different areas so that it could be easily recalled. She was an information specialist and a weather specialist as well. But she did not really care about humanity at that time. But Her thoughts were that you were warlike and that you would hurt each other and that why were we trying to save a planet that was ultimately going to destroy themselves anyway. But she cared about the planet. But now she learned about the people and she is taking a very interesting turn because now she does not look at the planet as a whole anymore. She sees different individuals and how they are moving forward in the ascension and their love and their caring for one another and how they are moving forward. And she has become gripped by your emotional stance for one another and involved with you individually, but not as a race or a planet, but as individuals is where she is interested. Okay, thank you. Do you understand that? Yes, yeah. I, I get it, because I, sometimes I, I become exasperated with the way we are towards each other. Um, yeah, because I, at times I have difficulties with it also. Yes, she sees that you have difficulties. And this is another endearing fact that she has come across is that she realizes some of you know the difference between good and bad or positive and negative, ascension and not. She is well pleased to know you. She has much love for these people in your human colony. Well, we, we, we love her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
just right. one one quick about the contract when when was the contract made it was started what year is this 2015 of yours yeah it had started in 2006 but mm. it was not completed we did not interact with your planet until 2009 mm. And when you help with the weather and stuff, uh, do you actually come down to the planet? No, we do not. You only work from outside? We work from above, yes. Okay. There are ways for us to work from above with different energetic beams that can help with the tectonic plates, moving them so that they would wedge together instead of shake apart and with some that helps with also with volcanic eruptions with tectonic plates that are melting or falling apart we can move some slightly so that in a way that does not cause earth to shake let me ask you something um can we do anything as a group to try and uh, get them to see the light, get them to see um, the benefit of what is happening here. I believe what you did earlier, speaking directly to them as an individual, will be helpful to some degree because they have lost touch with what it is like to be a citizen in normal time on your planet. They are privileged, they are wealthy, and they are powerful. Yeah, the, the thing is that uh, none of that will help with the weather. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's um, it. We will help as long as we can. I know, I know, but... But, but if them, they expose us causing weather, this can be a problem. Some will believe it, but you know, not all will. But not all are enlightened, and not all trust aliens, and not all will see the same things the way you do. We yeah. are in great danger here. Yes, I, I can see that. I do have to say, though, that I am seeing a lot, a lot, a lot more people waking up. That is good. Um, the uh, the uh, the YouTube, which is where we watch videos of different people, it's so many people channeling, so many so many people speaking languages, so many people um, speaking of light and love. Um, so I am I I can see you know progress is being made. Um, what about in terms of contact what about it <clears throat> um what exactly because because it seemed like before we were talking about it a little bit closer in time um now yes. now, now things in your middle east are volatile things in your russian area are volatile wars are very close now where they were not close before they are much closer now than ever before and they are going to be violent and your your governments do not want to have to deal with these wars and aliens at the same time yes contact will happen but right now we must get them to understand that they must control their politicians. Right. Because the, the other thing that, that seems to be that people are seeing ships everywhere. Yes. Um, so I don't, I don't see how they can control that any longer. Uh, we are no longer shy about showing our ships at times when it is necessary. That's why you see us during events such as heavy snowstorms or volcanoes or earthquakes 
or whatever it may be, if we have to show ourselves to get closer to the problem, we will. Mm -hmm. uh, Payan, do you have any more questions? <clears throat> yeah. Um, you, we, we, remem we rem remember that you have taken people physically to the colonies before. Yes. Um, wh how come we, you could do that before? We usually came to the planet and picked them up. They were in usually exposed areas. Either that or we would send someone for them to bring them. Transporting them was dangerous. We did do it we did interdimensional movement with them, not transporting. And many times we came to the planet and landed and picked up people. Yeah. But transporting site to site was not part of what we did. So that's the difference. You have been working on the site to site transfer. But before you came down and you beamed up people. It was dangerous for us to do so. Our transporters were not calibrated for human transfer. It would have ruined the whole project for the body to be mangled. And is there still um, some requ requirement in the vib vibration level? Not any longer. What we have done is, as you know, your technology moves forward very quickly, as does ours. So we have recalibrated all the, actually rebuilt from scratch, our transporter technology now to be suitable for more than one species. Mm. Okay. So now vibration isn't, isn't an issue Not as before. Not longer. It used to be important because we moved you interdimensionally. Mm. Interdimensional travel does depend on vibration still, but transfer site to site does not. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. If you have now, something on the same topic. Yeah. So it's. Is there, I know you said that they don't want us to fight away, but there isn't a way, like, let's say if if we were to go with somebody else, like with ERA. Um, Kid Gene has his own way of getting people to the planet. I cannot disclose how he does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want you to tell us either. <laughs> Um, I, I'm just saying in terms of, of going, would yeah. that be breaking? Yeah, go ahead, Caroline. You, yeah, in you, terms of a third party, I think is what I'm saying. I am not understanding quite. Is that right? Please repeat. Is that right? In terms of a third party, um, going through like a third party rather than directly through you to be transported. Is that right? Yeah. That is, I understand. That has been considered. Mm -hmm. At this point, it would seem devious of us to do so. <laughs> well, aren't the government's devious? I don't know. <laughs> yes, but we do not want to share that level of devious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just trying to come up with some ideas and, you know. I understand. And it is appreciated that you are on my side, our Which side and are willing to come and learn things to help your species. But our hands are tied to some degree, <clears throat> using your own terminologies. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, the, the only other possibility, it's, it's, it's if we happen to go or be in a country where um, the treaty. You seem amused. 
it's, so it's more in, frustration, in... I think. It's, yeah. It's ah. crazy. It's crazy. It really is. Yes. I can understand that humans sometimes smile and laugh when they are frustrated because <laughs> there is a way around what they feel is impossible. And so that is their only way yeah, to deal with it. Yeah, because I can tell you that. See, part of part of the frustration that we feel is that uh, we thought that what we were doing was the government didn't have control over. So now we find out that they have control over. So it's, it sort of feels like, uh, like a great cloud to me because, you know, that's precisely what we're trying to get away from. We just don't want anything to do with them. I mean, they can do their own thing and choose to do whatever they wish, but we want something else. We want something better. We want to give our children something else, and we want to give the future of this planet something else where there is hope and where there is more equality and and where we can understand each other better and not treat each other so badly. And I am glad that we have spoken to Neat tonight. To Neat tonight. Tonight, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It will give me something to say to them when we have our conference. I will be able to tell them that I directly know how you feel, how many of you feel. Yeah. It would seem that you feel the same about these things. It is appreciated that we have your support, and perhaps this will help sway them because... If we have your support, perhaps they will understand that they will be doing themselves a favor to understand why you support us. Yeah. I mean, it makes you almost want to not be on this planet. You know, obviously they've got control, fair enough. But, you know, have control of individual people, you know, it's like... I think perhaps that is one of their fears that we will start taking you away in mass amounts and not returning you. Well, some of us wouldn't mind that if they are. <laughs> <Yes. like, "Stand laughs> <I are." laughs> really? Who wants to live in the world with governments like that? Seriously. I, mean, I understand. Protect, protect us, you know, to a certain degree, fair enough, but completely and utterly, you know, would, take away our free will. So that's what in Enjoy the environments that we could supply. Yeah, we have a... many and various beautiful environments. We have seen many planets with beautiful environments that you would be able to go to. But this is not something we should discuss at this time. Yeah. So who who sent who sent Gert Fitnier over here to to um, It was our idea. We had decided the Arcturians were the major influence. Okay. As you know, they are a very peace loving species and they want to maintain this population that you are a part of. And we share with their ideas about this. And so our alliance had decided that we would help. But it was started by Octorian Council. Do you work with other alliances? Yes. We do have allies. That does not mean that they are part of us, because some of their ideas are different. But we do have some same likeness in ideas, and there we have an alliance, and we'll help each other and you whenever necessary. And, and uh, you would work with uh, like-minded alliances, so... Exactly. So it would be only alliances that also wants 
uh, our ascension to go up. Correct. Or maybe they want to save the Earth. Some of their agendas are the same as ours. Some are different. Some are in alliance with us because they want the Earth to continue and perpetuate and rise. Others are with us in thought because we are helping to just be a first contact. Some are with us because they are interested in the Earth as a scientific project, mm. which we are also in alliance with them as a scientific project also. But we want to save the population and have it ascend as we are studying it and its do, do makeup. You, do you have someone to answer to uh, in terms of... Um, like who's making the calls? Uh, the Arcturian if... Council also always makes the calls. We are part of the alliance of Grukvignir, the five different species. But the Arcturians have the final word because they are the fifth dimen close to fifth dimensional species. And they have a higher knowledge and understanding. However, we all have our input and it is very fair. Yes. Galactic yeah. Assembly. What Once about the... Once the Galactic Assembly came through and they told us that they... I remember, help me guys, did they say that they, um, they make the decisions about what happens here and who comes and who goes? The Galactic Federation does have some say, but for our project Fignir is the final word on the weather and seismic and volcanic. Okay. They are the final word on political assignments and different things of that nature. Mm. But we are in charge of the weather and seismic and things of that nature. Okay. Who, who decided okay. that Yael should be the first race to, to come? It was decided among many races in the galaxy. The reason being that it is believed that Yuyil is the closest representation to humanity there is in the galaxy. Okay, why not Pleiadians? Although Pleiadians are a wonderful species, our DNA, the Yuyil DNA, is even closer than theirs to yours. Mm hmm. And therefore, so that is thinking... how it was decided. The closest DNA would be the first. So is it perhaps, are you thinking, because vibrationally we are closer? And therefore we wouldn't be... has nothing to do with the first contact. Because many of your people will not have high vibrations when we come. But no. will gain high vibrational effects from our arrival but do do the pleiadians look more like us or do the yells look more like us it does not matter um, um yes, the pleiadians can look more like you however you do not look like mice and they share 97 percent of your dna <laughs> yeah exactly that's what i meant, meant that Perhaps Yael are more energetically close to us. Yes, and, and that's the that reason. is true as well. And that is the reason for them. It's not looks. No, I was only uh, I was only asking about the look because it would be easier. It would be easier. Yeah. Well, you Yael look very human in the face. Human enough. Human enough. And plus, when first contact comes, they will be accompanied by human telepaths. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. So there will be a human element involved in first contact. Can, can I ask for something? Um, uh, first contact, is that um, also in the contract at all? 
with governments. Mm. No. They refuse to speak about first contact because they know it is unavoidable and unstoppable, and they do not feel that we are the, the first step in it. Their only concern right now is that we do not take over. First contact to them seems implausible at this time. And, and it I, has been discussed, but they do not want any contract agreements about it because they do not even think it could possibly happen. With they would consider it an attack, and so that is the treaty. What it, the treaty is about is not being attacked. A first contact episode for them would be an attack. Oh. Okay. okay. So, so that means that they they're have... They're burying their heads in the sand, basically. Cause... They have buried it in many places. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that means that they get some kind of predictions in a negative, negative predictions. Maybe from yes. the reptilians. They, the reptilians lie to them consistently, but give them technology so they believe them. Some of the, fortunately, the reptilians do not have as high a technology as we do. Otherwise, your planet would probably be in ash by now. Oh, yeah. that's why they yeah. want it. Yeah. Now, can I ask you something? Um, after first contact happens, how do you how do you prevent the reptilians from also? Um, the reptilians will be put in their place because they know that we can overpower them. We have control over them in some ways if we were to come to Earth. Okay. But we do not interfere with what they are doing because they are getting permission to do what they are doing from your own people. If they were forcing your people, we would have to stop them. But they are getting permission by your people to interact and to do the things that they are doing. So we cannot have a say on that. Right. Don't they um, like puppetize a lot of our governments? You look into the eyes of Vladimir Putin and you see nothing because he has been totally taken away. Mm -hmm. does not exist anymore. Yeah, and that's why so many of us have problems with the government. Yes, but he did it voluntarily. It was not forced upon him. Okay, do you... He wanted the power that the reptilians offered. And now he has it. But he also does not have a personality or a soul. Can I ask you something that does... does can the Council of Nine help at all with this? The Council of Nine will be meeting at the same time in a different plane as us on the 28th of your February. They will be listening to our council. They will not be a direct part of it, but they will be judging the outcome of it and bringing some light to us so that we may continue to help. Okay. Also, the Federation of Light and the Galactic Federation will all have their say in this after it is done. But the meeting is between your governments and Gurk Fichtnir. Yeah, yeah, I figure as much, but I'm saying, like, in terms of helping you in, in They will help yeah. if you can. They are our allies in some ways. We do not all have the same ideas about what should happen or how to work things, but we do want you to exist. Yeah, so I think, I think maybe it's just the other way. Uh, we might have to do some praying for that day so that we open up their minds and hearts on that day so mm -hmm. that they can Please listen. Please do. Our people are doing meditations for this as well. We do not want to leave you. And we feel that it would be 
disloyal in some ways to leave you. But if forced to do so, we will do so. Okay. Yeah. What we're, would we're push gonna... you to that? What is push? What is pushing you to that? From what are they doing? What do they want? They have weapons aimed at us all at all times, and they are forcing us to do what they they're bidding. They feel like they have the upper hand since we have the alliance not to attack. However, they are pushing us. They, I believe, they know our intentions are pure, but they act like they we are not having good intentions, and that keeps other people suspicious of us. Mm. Yeah. Well, I hope you. I hope you stay. We will stay as long as we can. Do you get guidance? Like from predictions and stuff like that. There is a prophecy that is unknown to humanity, but I cannot share it with you. Okay. But I will just tell you that we have spiritual lives as well, and we believe in prophecies, signs, and miracles because we have seen them happen. Many things have been foretold through the galaxy many thousands and thousands of years, and some have come true miraculously, unspeakable things that are wonderful and miraculous beyond words yeah. that could not have happened without spirit being alive. Mm. Um, this, this day, um these, there's been some predictions about the fall of 2016. Um, does that affect you in any way, or or anything that you um, you do to help us? Or the fall of 2016 is not a prediction that involves something from the outside, but something from the inside of humanity controls it. So I cannot comment on it because it is a human decision. Oh, okay. But, but will, will uh, your role... Yes, we will, we will be affected by it one way or the other, yes. But it is not for us to decide. Yeah. Is it a good thing or a bad thing for you? It could be either way. <laughs> depends how you look at it <laughs> of course it depends on who you are and when you are okay but it could be a good thing for humanity it could yes very well be a wonderful thing for humanity okay alright um, alright I think we we have some work to do because we need to help in some kind of way because um, I, I have a problem with um, somebody else dictating on us what we can and cannot do. I understand that we were being abducted and the government trying to protect us. Yeah. I, can, I can see that. But if it's coming out of free will and choice and you're making your own decision of what to do, um, I think we should be able to. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the line, um, you can only be responsible for yourself. You can't be responsible for anybody else. I agree. So but there are factors that rule every life in the universe. This is yeah. one of them. It may not be fair, but it is a fact. Yeah. We know. <laughs> yes, we know. And uh, I don't know if there's anything else we can do to help. Let us know. Yes. Um, 
My time is spent now. Yes, so... I have overstayed because they are calling me back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming and explaining things to us. I hope you are well understood at this time. Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for your time. Okay, Thank you very it much. It was a pleasure to speak with you. I do not speak much. You understand that I have many responsibilities. Yes. But I found this to be an important meeting. Meeting. And therefore I am yes. here for you. Yeah, thank I know that they are listening, and I knew that your questions were pertinent. So I hope they are understanding, and some will change their minds. Yeah. Even if it's just individuals. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not harmless, you know. I mean, we're not harmful, you know. As in, you know, what can we do as individuals, you know? I don't know. You but actually I have great power as individuals. Yeah. With your meditation, especially you, Liney, with your psychic abilities, although you are not aware of them fully yet. No. <laughs> but it's fair, I, the way I see it, the interaction with you, um, you um, is it's, it's my spirit. You know, it's kind of for myself. It's my spiritual growth as well. You know, that's the way I see it as well. You know. It's yes, not, I understand. Yeah, it's not harmful. Yeah. Then we'll pull out your psychic abilities. Mm -hmm. I must go. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste. Is that pronunciation correct? Yes. yes. Have a clear, wonderful day. You too. To you thank you well. for all you do. Thank you for your help. Say May hello to everyone. Yes. Say hello to everyone around you. I will do so, and to the people in your human colony as well. Yeah. Yes. We, we love everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your support and beliefs. Isn't <laughs>